Welcome to the ABCs of professional face painting. It is time to talk about the S, yourself. This is something that I have felt so strong about from the very beginning. You matter so much. You matter on the good days. You matter on the bad days. You matter on the days in between. <laughs> you matter when you're busy. You matter when it's slow. You just matter as a person. Everybody matters. That's something that I believe. When I first started, I didn't know that I mattered. And let me tell you what professional face painting looks like to somebody who doesn't matter. They will do a 10 or 12 hour festival day without taking a break. They won't drink water in 90 degree weather because then they might have to use the bathroom. So I wasn't eating, I wasn't drinking, I wasn't doing all of these things. It's the little kid that matters. It's the parent that matters. It's the hungry kids at home that I'm making the money for. They are the ones that matter. And as a lady, I am very good at projecting mattering to everybody but me. And I'm telling you that you matter until you believe me because I needed it for years. I needed my husband to say things like, I will be mad at you if you do not eat today. And and giving me like, you need to spend $10 a day at least. And all of these things to try and help me get over this idea that I don't matter. So what is this an example of? This is an example of boundaries. In order to protect yourself, and it's not just protection, but it's thriving, right? Boundaries are important for good, not just for keeping out bad. And so being able to communicate those boundaries in a positive and effective way is essential to taking care of yourself. So um, I have a little sign that says photos are welcome and then a big slash no flash photography because that is a boundary for me. When I am painting on a face, I am focusing like so intensely on that artwork and getting that line exactly right and then flash and I can't see. You need to find out what it is that are triggers for you. We all have them. We all have those little things that really bother us that people might know, people might not. If something makes you uncomfortable to paint it, don't paint it. That might be because it's sexually explicit. That might be because it's racist. That might be because um, it's drug related. That There are a lot of things that people like and they want to have it. They're proud and that's okay. We don't need to judge them. We don't need to have somebody that doesn't like what we like. We, we don't need to project ourselves, but you are an artist and your skills and your services are something that are yours. They don't belong to anybody unless you consent. So the kid needs to say yes. I tell parents this all the time. The person in the chair has to want it. <laughs> the kid needs to say yes and you need to say yes. Have the power to say no. Being able to understand what are the things that make us happy and what are the things that make us not and then being able to have the boundaries and being able to pursue those happy opportunities. I got an email today from the Chamber of Commerce and it has this long list of all of these different events I get to pick and choose. And that's awesome because I can say, ah, oh, that one doesn't fit me as much. A legislative breakfast? No thanks. But when I see that there's a ribbon cutting at a really awesome place downtown that I wanna be at, yeah, I'm going. What is it that you want to take care of yourself, to make yourself happy, and then you get to go out there and do them. So at this point, I'm going to shamelessly introduce something awesome that I'm doing because I want to, and that is my P.O. box. I have a fabulous little tiny box that's about this big at the post office where if you want to send me a postcard or a letter, you can, and I can get happy mail because I love real things. And so, um, P.O. Box 1972, Lawrence, Kansas 66044. Uh, that's something I did for myself this year because that is fun and it's grounding and it's exciting. I have so much energy and there are things that give me more energy and there are things that take energy away. And that's what the boundaries are for, for me, is to create that energy. I try and be aware when there's a leak because it's so miserable to carry water in a leaky bucket. You're gonna have to carry so many more bucketfuls. So fix the leaks, right? When my kit needs to be cleaned up, or if I have a color that's running out, or something like that, every time I paint with paint that's just getting sludgy, you know, or, or something like that, it is so hard for me. And so when I am at a long show, I will bring extra paint so that I know I have good colors. So. 
I love working for a company that meets my needs. Back, if any of you guys remember me as Jacana Parties, Jacana Parties did not meet my needs very well. Then in this epiphany, uh, there was this moment of, why don't I create a company that takes care of me? Why, why don't I be a boss that takes care of me and that meets my needs and that does awesome things like give me a PO box? <laughs> why don't I be that boss? I could have the world's best boss and instead I have the world's worst and it's because I wasn't taking care of myself. And I can't tell you what a dramatic change it has been. I am a face painter, a henna artist, and a balloon twister. Before, I was a face painter, a henna artist, and a balloon twister. What changed? The way I treated myself changed. Did you know that I actually, like, make sure I get fed now? And I take a break when I need to take a break. Uh, that's why there's a self. You know, you get the full, just as important as the face painting, just as important as your business, just as important as the community is you. You are equally important, if not more so. So, figuring out who you are and what you need is amazing at how quickly it will radically change the way you feel about your business.